What's up guys? Welcome to Bon Inku. Today we are finally covering how I painted the legendary dragon from Joan of Arc. Which if you guys didn't know, dragons are pretty much my favorite thing ever. So I am super stoked for this one. And if any of you guys ever see a really cool dragon mini, let me know. I'm always in need for more dragons for my dragon horde. Anyway, let's get started. To start things off, I base coated the lighter skin tone areas using a 3 to 1 mix of ivory and sunny skin tone which included the middle of the wings and the underside of his head, neck and body. I then use flat red to base coat all the rest, blending it slightly over those skin tone areas. I then came back with that skin tone mix and touched up the center areas of all those skin tone bits as well as smooth out the blends between the skin tones and the red. Next I applied Tesher's gloss coat to the entire model to help the washes that will be applied next to flow a little bit easier and to make it so I didn't have to worry about accidentally rubbing off any of these base coats. Then after that gloss coat was nice and dry, I applied strong tone to all those skin tone areas. I then washed all the red areas using my custom dark red ink wash, which was made by combining 50 drops of flame red ink, 5 drops of black ink, and 15 milliliters of wash base. For those of you that want to reproduce this, I'll include the complete formula in the description below. I also blended this wash into some of those skin tone areas using a paper towel as a finishing touch to soak up some of that excess wash and give it a more organic look.
then when those washes were nice and dry, I started brightening up all that red skin, first by applying an overbrush of flat red, followed by some cotter red base, applied in the same manner. Next, I dry washed all those skin tone areas using that original skin tone mix to brighten things up and help accentuate all that nice texture. Next, I started creating some variation in all that red by applying a 10 to 1 mix of flame red and black inks to the veins on the wings as well as all the horns and spikes around his body. Then after applying that dark red to all the veins and the spikes, I thin that mix with a bit of airbrush thinner and water and spray it to the airbrush to start creating some shadows and intensify the contrast. I then further increased the contrast by applying some black ink to various parts of the model, particularly to the recesses and crevices, as well as the bottom parts of the horns and the spikes.
Next I applied sepia ink to his legs to darken them down a bit and then proceeded to brighten up that red once more using a mix of dry brushing and over brushing. First with flat red, followed by some cottle red base. Then, to particularly accentuate all those scales on his head, I applied some fine highlights of Cotter Red Base using a fine detail brush. After that, I sprayed some thinned black ink to various areas to darken them down and increase the contrast. I then came in and applied various layers of dry brushing to start creating some highlights. Now, originally, I was just gonna do this a red, black, and white scheme, but as I was going on, I decided this needed a little bit extra punch of color. So after applying some basic highlights using a 3 to 1 mix of Cotter Red Base and Sunny Skin Tone, I started creating a more fiery effect by dry brushing on some Cotter Red Highlight, followed by some Heartstone, and finally, popped it all out with some Cygnus Yellow.
After doing all that dry brushing, I picked up my fine detail brush and used those same fiery tones to pick out various details on the model and really make that color pop. I then finished off his eyes by applying a small sliver of black to create the pupil and then added a small dot of ivory to each eye to create a light reflection which gave it that finishing touch. Next I used khaki to base coat his nails as well as pick out the edges of each of those scales on his legs. Next I applied some black lava texture paint to the entirety of the base, then snapped apart a couple popsicle sticks and placed that around the base and under his feet to create some destroyed debris. Then after that black lava had dried a little bit, I applied some brown earth texture paint to various areas, then pushed in various sizes of stones to create a pathway leading to the destroyed building and create some additional rubble. Then once all that texture paint was nice and dry, I added in some roughage by gluing on some field grass followed by various colors of self-adhesive tufts.
Then while waiting for all that glue to dry, I decided to brighten up that red a bit by applying some additional dry brushing of Cotter Red Base, followed by a dry brush of a two-tone mix of khaki and ivory to the legs, as well as applying that to the horns on his wings and to his teeth. Then after the glue was sufficiently dry, I tapped on the base and blew it off a bit with the airbrush to shake off any excess grass that didn't stick to the base. After which, I base coated that broken building using some dark sea gray, then gave it a wash using some thinned black ink. I then applied strong tone to the brown earth, the rocks, and the wood debris, then came in with some black ink and sprayed that over various parts of the base to make it look like it had just gotten roasted. Next I applied various layers of dry brushing to brighten up the building, first with dark sea grey, then with a 1 to 2 mix of dark sea grey and ivory, and finally with ivory. I then base coated all the little wood beams inside of the building with a 2 to 1 mix of ochre brown and ivory. After which I applied some strong tone to those wood pieces as well as parts of the building to give it some extra variation and to make it look like it was an old worn building.
I then intensified the shadows by blending on some black ink in various areas. I then applied some highlights to the ground, first with a dry brush of earth, followed by some ochre brown, which I also applied a bit to the building to dirty it up a bit. I then finished up the model by applying a final dry brush of a 1 to 2 mix of dark sea gray and ivory to the building, then highlighted his tongue using flat red, cod red base and ivory, and finally gave his teeth and claws some highlights using a 1 to 2 mix of khaki and ivory. And there you have it, the legendary dragon is now complete. Thank you guys for joining, hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it, this is probably one of my favorite models I've ever painted, albeit it took a very long time, not as long as the Oni of Hate though, so we're improving guys, we're improving. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, be sure to subscribe, hit the alert button so you get notified whenever a new video gets posted. And if you really like the channel and want to help keep me motivated to continue to make videos for you guys, come and join us on Patreon. You'll not only help encourage the channel to keep going, but we'll also get access to Discord, early access to videos, and some additional perks that you'll only get by becoming a patron. So if you're interested, go ahead and join us. If not, keep enjoying the videos. Thank you guys for joining. Hope to see you on the next one. Legendary Dragon complete! Bondaroo. Oh!